Hey guys, what's going on? Explosive Corn here, and today I'm going to be showing you a little game called Might and Magic Duel of Champions. This is a free-to-play game by Ubisoft and is associated with Uplay. Like, you need a Uplay account in order to start playing this game, but it's a really cool game. It's a TCG. It's an online trading card game, and it's basically kind of like Magic the Gathering, but there's a few twists here and there. So... Here you can see some of the cards. Uh, this is a hero. So you can see like this is the health down here, like 20 health around kind of like, kind of similar to like the World of Warcraft amount of health, just like magic kind of health too. I don't play Magic the Gathering, but I've seen a lot of gameplay of it and um, just over from over the years of what I've seen of it. Um, so this is amazing artwork i love the artwork in this game it's so cool and a lot of the time the artwork is what gets you into a game like a trading card game especially the artwork is extremely important because that's what you're looking at all the time that's what you're going to be playing that's what you're going to be fighting that's what you're going to be making you that's what you're going to be making connections with as you play this game but it's free, so I mean, it's a really cool game for what it is, because you walk into it, you don't have to pay a single thing, and you can, no if you, like, if you do enough, and if you're good enough, you'll be able to m get cards even without paying. So, these, this is the gold, and this is the valor points, I think. Let's check it out. Not sure what it's called. Seals. Okay, so seals. Seals are the paid currency. And these are tournament tickets. The tournament tickets are things that you use to get into a tournament. And if you win, you get cool prizes. And I'll show you that later. But I'm not going to get in one because I'm not that good at this game yet. <laughs> uh, so the way you buy cards is really similar to like a lot of online trading card games. Well, there aren't a lot of them right now, but this is a cool one because you have a lot of options you have a small pack for 2000 gold reinforcement pack which is like 12 cards for 12 fifth 12500 then you have 12 premium cards which is more rare high end cards for 18000 then you have a heroic pack which is similar to these but you have a hero at the cost of some cards and i think some rarity so you also have boxes and these boxes are just a lot of booster packs <laughs> and recently I just got this uh, Void Rising box because it's on sale I had like 12,200 I mean 1,200 seals just from leveling up and doing quests so that's cool that normally would cost money all right so that's just the gist of the shop sorry I got right into that really quickly so when you log in there's the news shows you all that stuff notifications and your friends list i don't have a lot of friends who play this game i'm just getting them to start because i just started this game like two three days ago i'm really hooked on it so far though um so right here the only kind of customization you really need to have is this banner that you can change around like, this is pretty cool i'll keep that and then you have achievements everyone loves achievements you always need achievements in a modern game and it's cool stuff, like reach level 5, own all 4 Necropolis hero cards from the first base set. The first base set is kind of is just the original set of cards that the game comes with. So like, the first thing, because, because they um, released that void box that I showed you that I bought was an expansion pack. And that's like the first expansion that's come out for this game so far. And they have a really cool... Uh, deck management system. It's not like too complex. It's not like that crazy or anything. It's just you just drag and drop drag and drop drag and drop And this is my deck. It's uh, I think I actually need to fix it up a bit because it's way too focused on Like It's way too focused on fortune and I'll have a lot of times where I'll just have way too many fortune cards in my hand that I don't need so I think I'm going to take one of these out and take one of these out. Maybe I can put in a monster or two. Let's see. Okay, so this is a monster. I'm just going to explain this now while I'm at it. 
Um, <clears throat> the top, this right here at the top left is a resource. How many resources it costs to make to place that monster? The might is, I'll show you later, but basically every turn you level up a certain characteristic. And if you level up might, which is more oriented towards creature cards, you can place down certain p t powerful types of monsters. And this is your attack, this is your defense, and this is your health. So I'm d trying to decide which one I want to put down. Kind of switch out. I'm going to put down the wolf. No, wait, actually, I'm going to put down one of these guys. All right, because I don't have... I think I have enough two resource cards. Yeah, I have enough two resource cards. All right. I just need to get rid of one more fortune card, I think. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of that one. Okay. All right. Let's uh, get in, shall we? All right. I'm going to go up against some random guy. Let's hope something good happens. Let's hope I go up against someone not good. <laughs> right here, you can see my elo, which is my skill level. All right, so we're starting out. I don't have a very good... I mean, this is a good hand if I was really far into the game, but these are too strong. So I would not like to keep my starting hand. And we got a pretty decent hand. I'm not going to be able to play a card right away, like a something but I'm ha I have second turn so every turn you gain resources and I'll be able to have two resources once it's my turn and I'll be able to place this guy down probably because yeah and my hero has a special ability to increase the health of certain kinds of monsters by one and which is incorporeal so let's increase magic. So this is what I was talking about earlier, the might, magic, and fortune. So every turn you can increase a certain aspect of your hero. And I'm gonna increase magic so I have the ability to play this card because this requires two might and one magic, which I have. Now it doesn't it doesn't use up any of the resources. It's just a requirement, it's like a level. Like you need level two might, level one magic to play this. It uses up your resources, not your levels. Ongoing. We need to play a creature. Let's play one. This is one of my cards, actually. Alright. This is a good start. Luckily, this is not a magic card, and it won't be able to deal too much damage to my guy, because as an incorporeal, it deals half damage. So, as you can see, it's really cool. What the fuck? Oh, he's using this card to look at my hand. That's not good. I mean... He's not going to be able to do much, but he's going to be able to have knowledge. And knowledge is power. This is cool. Oh yeah, kill target from the creature. Alright, so there are three different types of cards. There are magic cards, fortune cards, and creature cards. Which also goes hand in hand with these levels. So I'm going to level up my might a little bit. And put down this plague zone. Attack that guy. So as you can see, I killed him. He had one health. I have two attack. Boom. Dead. Alrighty. We're good. And these are event cards. Basically, um, you they flip over every turn and you have the ability to play them using resources. So if I wanted to... If I was stuck and I wanted to increase the defense of a creature by two, I would use three resources. Put it on this guy and it would be fine. But I don't need to do that. So let's just keep increasing. I always go steady might for a little bit. Just because it's it feels safe for me. Uh, yeah, let's go here. Wait, let's check this guy out first. Oh, shit. Okay. So if he deals damage to me, I'm not going to be able to attack him. For a little... For a whole turn. And... Okay. And what I just did there was I attacked his hero through this guy because there was no one in my way. Basically, our creatures serve as a blockage for us. The main point is to get your hero down to zero health. So let's go! He has 501 elo! That's not good. That is not good at all. <laughs> all 
All right, he killed my lingering ghost. Not good, not good. But this is a really fun game. It's really cool because... Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. A lot of tactics are put into play like that. All right, we're going to use this guy. Um, here. Because if he attacks me, I'll be able to counter him. Oh, but he's immune to retaliation. Um, yeah, I'm going to put this guy here. Put this guy here. And then... Attack him. Yeah, that sounds good. And then increase my... Might. Because I have this guy with 5 might. I want to be able to get to him as fast as possible. And then I'm going to start increasing my magic so I can start getting into this spell. This spell helps me so much because basically I put it on a guy and as long as someone's there to attack that guy, even for one health, he's automatically dead. So it's really, 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 really good. What does this guy do? Oh, shit. Okay. What this guy all does is I can't move this guy. I can still attack. Immobilization allows me to attack her, but I'm not going to be able to... Oh, shit. I'm not going to be able to uh, attack the uh fuck this guy's gonna kill me oh no oh no baby all right we're gonna put this guy here to block his attack next turn but i'm gonna attack him for one attack this guy attack her yeah and this guy's immune to retaliation so she couldn't attack me back with her two points of defense i'm gonna start increasing my magic so I can start using this pretty soon. And we're good to go. I didn't use this guy right away because I wanted to make sure I had full defense. Oh, shit. He's going to be able to attack me with a lot of damage. But he's not going to be able to kill me yet, but... Oh, no! Now he's going to be able to kill my Lich King. No! <laughs> shit. This guy's good, too. Kind of. He's alright. Wow, he has so many spells, it's annoying. That's really annoying, actually. That's extraordinarily annoying. Okay. Alright. Let's put this guy down here. Increase that. I'm not gonna be able to do it. I can actually... Do I want to attack him? Yeah. I can take three hit. I can three. I can take the three damage. What is? What, why is he increased? I hate this. Kill target friendly key charge. Uh, oh shit! That's not. That's annoying. Okay, so her card was able to move me for a lot. That's enough. And now I can't move. Okay. Oh shit. Come on. Alright. I can't attack with him. That's really fucking annoying. All right, we're gonna wanna place this guy down here, kill him so he doesn't apply that buff to these two fuckers. And we're gonna draw a card for safe measure. Okay, so we're gonna be able to block some hits with this. And let's, let us, yeah, let's move up towards that resource card. Kill target for enemy creature. Yeah, no, I don't want to do that yet. Oh, this is getting intense. Ooh, is he magic? No. Nice. Okay, so he's not gonna be able to do any damage to this guy. I'm gonna be able to hit him back for two damage. What? No! It's supposed to be rounded down. He's not even magic. Oh, I'm not even incorporeal. That was my bad. I thought I was incorporeal. Incorporeals like have the ability to block some damage. Oh wow, that's so dumb. That's so dumb. 
That's really dumb. I'm gonna lose, probably. <laughs> I don't know yet. But, it's really likely. There's always times. Like, one time I had this one guy had like four health on his hero. I literally had one more turn to kill him. Ooh, here's my lucky card. I literally had one more turn to kill him, and he just didn't die. Okay, we're gonna kill this guy real quick. And... Fuck. Okay. Um... Yeah, we're gonna have to... I don't want that card. Because we need those resources. Shit! She has so much attack. She's gonna be able to do so much damage to me so fast. That's not good. That's not good at all. But if I move up to this card, I might be able to do something. It might save me. But it's really, really risky. This I gotta remind you that this person does have like 300 more elo than me. It's really hard. Okay. Okay. That's a lot of fucking damage. If she hits me like one more- I'm dead! I might die. I might die. Yep. I'm totally dead. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. So... Let's try this card. This card is going to allow me to grab a bunch of cards. But I have to make sure that I get the right one. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to survive this. Ah, shit. Okay, let's see how this works out. So I think as you are watching this, you kind of get the gist of what's going on. Oh crap, that's so much. He has all of these freaking cards. So you kind of get the, okay, I lost. So you kind of get the idea of how this game plays. And you could see that I lost. <laughs> but at the end of every match, they give you some gold and some experience and you level up after a while so right here you can see my experience bar rose up and you just keep doing that you keep playing and you keep getting cards and it's really fun and you can get your friends to play and you can duel them and you can go into tournaments and if you have enough people playing you can even make your own tournaments so this is a really cool game. I just only touched the surface of it. I, you only saw a few of the cards, but it's kind of a game that you have to either watch a lot or play a lot to get a lot of the experience. So, this was Explosive Corn. I hope you enjoyed. I'll be putting up more duels of these later because I like this game a lot and I want to put out more of this. So, hopefully you guys see this and you guys try this out. It's, uh, just Google the name of the game. I'll put, it's in the title. So, yeah, check it out. Have fun, and tell me what you think about it. See you guys later.